will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I tell you that. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. I have a total net worth, and now with the increase, it'll be well over $10 billion. But here, a total net worth of $8 billion. Net worth, not assets, not liability, a net worth. Part of the beauty of me is that I'm very rich. And I can tell you, some of the candidates they went in, they didn't know the air conditioner didn't work. They sweated like dogs. They didn't know the room was too big because they didn't have anybody there. How are they gonna beat ISIS? But Mr. Trump, you're not a nice person. We don't need nice. That's true, but actually I am. I think I am a nice person. Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her, she's a slob. She talks like a, a, like a truck driver. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person, both inside and out. If I were running The View, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. I mean, I'm actually a nice person. <laughs> How would intentionally killing innocent civilians set us apart from ISIS? Mr. Trump. We have to be much tougher. We have to be much stronger than we've been. We have people that know what's going on. You take a look at just the attack in California the other day. There were numerous people, including the mother, that knew what was going on. They saw a pipe bomb sitting all over the floor. They saw ammunition all over the place. They knew exactly what was going on. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, girlfriends, and they were put into planes, and they were sent back, for the most part, to Saudi Arabia. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. I would be very, very firm with families. And frankly, that will make people think, because they may not care much about their lives, but they do care, believe it or not, about their families' lives. Free trade can be wonderful if you have smart people. But we have people that are stupid. If you really love this country, you have a very, very hard time convincing people that what you're doing is right, and that you're really smart. And like, a lot of us are really smart. I'm really smart. Went to the Wharton School of Finance. Even then, a long time ago, like the hardest or one of the hardest schools to get into. Did well at the school. Came out, made a fortune, wrote a book called The Art of the Deal. Did everybody read The Art of the Deal? We need a leader that wrote The Art of the Deal. President Obama is the least transparent president in the history of this country. And if he gives his passport applications and records, I will give to a charity of his choice, inner city children in Chicago, American Cancer Society, AIDS research, anything he wants, a check immediately for five million dollars. I'm asking you now, do you accept that President Obama was born in the United States, no, is not know. Muslim? I, I really don't know. I mean, you don't I, know. I, don't know. I don't know why he wouldn't release his records. Uh, a few years ago, you uh, led the birther movement. You sent investigators out to Hawaii to find out whether or not Obama, which you said, was not born here. Well, and I, it I turned out to I, not you, be true. Well, so I don't know. You, according to you, it's not true. I don't know. You he know, released you, his birth certificate. Uh, you know, if, if you believe that, that's fine. I don't care. It's an old subject. Really disappointing. Not really. <laughs> but it would depend on what was inside the magazine. If, oh, no, if oh, she posed, it would be fine. But if they put her picture yeah, on... Yeah, but it depends on what goes inside the magazine. Well, see, that's her gripe. Right. That's right. this girl's gripe. Right. Mm -hmm. People assume nothing. there'll be nude, nude photos. Right, you do assume that with Playboy. Okay, she, but if there weren't, Playboy... you wouldn't have an issue with it then. If they were using her to... I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! Nobody would be tougher on ISIS than Donald Trump. I would take away their wealth. I would take away the oil. But wouldn't you be destroying the wealth of Iraq? No, no, let me... Do, uh, there is no Iraq. There is no Iraq. And you don't think bombing Iraqi oil fields, which are now in the control of ISIS, yeah. but, but bombing Iraqi oil fields is going to anger huge numbers of people? I would bomb Iraq? the hell out of those oil fields. I wouldn't send many troops because you won't need them by the time I got finished. I'd bomb the hell out of the oil fields. I'd then get Exxon. I'd then get these great oil companies to go in. They would rebuild them so fast your head will spin. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million 
to somebody from China. I love the Saudis. Many are in this building. I would get along with Putin. I've dealt with Russia. When do we beat Mexico at the border? They're laughing at us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Mexico doesn't want people. They're forcing them into our country. And we're taking them and we're putting them in our jails and our hospitals. And we're paying them money through different sources. It's a disgrace. I would build a great wall. And nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. And I'll build them very inexpensively. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border. And I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. And they're not sending us their best and their finest. You heard my speech. But how are you going to get Mexico to pay for a wall? You have people like we have. You're Dopes. calling you an enemy, aren't George, you? George, George, Mexico does not like us. Mexico is not our friend. Mexico is the new China. Mexico will pay. You mark my words. I win. Mexico pays. They love me. I love them. And I'll tell you something. If I get the nomination, I'll win the Latino vote. I will win it. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. I also happen to call him a lightweight, okay? And I have said that. So I would like to take that back. He's really not that much of a lightweight. And as far as, and I have to say this, I have to say this. He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. He's not a war He's hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you He's agree with hero. that? He's a war hero because he was captured, okay?